The next question is, is there a second chance after death? Because there are some religions that teach there is. Well, we saw it a moment ago. No, it's appointed unto men wants to die, but after this, the judgment. There is no getting that thing fixed. The, the Mormons will baptize people for the dead, thinking, okay, if, if they didn't get it right, we're going to fix it for them in this life. Uh, the Church of Rome has something called purgatory, where somebody who doesn't quite make heaven or not bad enough for hell can find this in-between place, uh, in between place to get purged and, and, and finally, eventually get into heaven. But that's a man-made doctrine. Really, the condition you die in is the condition you, you stay in, and the door to hell swings one way. And, and there's no getting out after the fact. And, and so, yes, there is grace in this life. If you accept truth, God gives you more. And if you accept that, God gives you more. But if you reject that, like Pharaoh did, that's a dangerous thing to do. The light gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. And after that, well, verse 26 describes it as a great gulf. There is no going back and forth from one place to the other. There's no second chance after death. Now, it brings me to the next thought. Can those on earth here help those who have gone to hell? Well, we see clearly in Luke 16, no. There's nothing that can be done for the five brothers that have been uh, left behind back on the earth. There's nothing can be done for the rich man who dies. And, and can those on earth help those in hell? Absolutely not. There's nothing that mortals, that people on earth here, can do for those on the other side. And I say that because I grew up in a religion where money was paid and, and church services were said to try and get people out of that limbo place and, and into heaven and so on. But th that's not at all what the Bible teaches. I know of a man, he was a born-again Christian, but he had an unsaved wife. His two sons were born-again Christians, but mom was a holdout. And that man was dying of cancer, and that wife said, you need to know what I'm going to do after you die, just so it's no shock. And, and so he heard what she wanted to do after he died, and he called his two sons in. He said, boys, he goes, mom doesn't get it. Mom doesn't understand what the Bible teaches. So when I die, I don't want you to even tell mom for an hour until I'm gone. And so they waited an hour, and dad died, and they, they told mom right away. Mom sprung into action. She called her, her minister and took him an hour to get over there. So the guy had been dead for two hours, and the minister came and sprinkled water on the corpse and put a wafer into the mouth of the dead man as if that was supposed to help him in the condition he was in. Folks, it doesn't matter what kind of ceremonial stuff you do, what ritualistic religion, ri religiosity that you can, you can do there. There's nothing that you can do for those on the other side, plain and simple. The Bible says, he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Him that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And as the tree falleth, so shall it lie. Bottom line, no, those on earth cannot help those in the next life. Now, here's the next question.